Because that cultural dance troupe, its director Vince Regis, was selected to be a judge at the World Folk Dance Competition in Korea, and he joins me now to talk about this special opportunity. Certainly a landmark moment for you, Vince, because you do yes, so much for the island community. Well, first of all, half a day and welcome Half a day, half a day. Okay. Thank you for having me. Well, like I said, I mean, you have been someone who's been an advocate for Chamorro culture and Chamorro values and virtues. Um, to have been given this responsibility, what does that mean to you, and how do you shoulder the burden? Gosh, I was, first of all, overwhelmed i was uh, la i was t telling the kids the other day that i was doing my victory dance when i when i when i was over there because i couldn't believe that a uh, person like myself uh, little island from Maleso, being able to represent all of oceania and be a part of this phenomenal festival and phenomenal dance competition definitely overwhelmed but also very very excited and very 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 uh, sure that I was able to come in with the Pacific Eye because I, I had to represent all of Oceania, all of the Pacific. Mm -hmm. So I had to make sure that I, I was confident enough to be up there. And uh, it was uh, very out of body, very surreal, but I've learned so much and I'm so inspired to have had that opportunity. And, and I'm just so more excited to be able to share this with our island community. And it's interesting because directly you're a judge, so you're going to be assessing the talents of other people yes. doing their yeah. dances, but yeah. indirectly, you're also an ambassador to island culture and you have to yes. represent, you know, what we believe in once again. So how do you, how do you mix those two schools of thought? Oh, gosh, you know, it was just so, uh, it was definitely difficult because I had to, I, first of all, I was like one of the younger ones. I was a baby compared to many of the esteemed panel of judges that were there. You had these guys 25 years, 30 years in, in folklore and folk dance and have traveled internationally in places that I only can dream of. And so I was, one of the great blessings was I was able to sit with them and learn so much about how it is not to be a judge, but just to be a perpetuator in one's culture. It's very difficult because you have countries from all over the world. You have countries from the European countries, and then you have countries in Russia, or there, there are certain groups from Russia, then certain groups from Malaysia and Indonesia, and we had to kind of find a common theme and a common uh, eye when it came to judging, because it's very difficult, because you, how can you tell one culture is better than the other when they're representing their culture and I, they know more. I was just going to say, because, you know, like uh, playing off an Olympic analogy, you yeah. know, it's not like gymnastics where everybody's doing roughly the same yeah. required moves. You, know, you have like Polynesian and island cultures that tell stories with our hands and, you know, yes. with um, yes. feet movements. And yeah. then you have, like you said, like Russian cultures and there's a, like, it's a lot of feet movements. Yeah, a lot. Of, yeah, exactly. How do you guys get mid range? Well, you know, because the panel of judges are all diverse, there was con there were they all represented one particular place or area. So we had one person represented uh, Asia, one person that represented all of America, including s North and South, one person, that, two people that represented uh, European countries, and then myself, and then of course uh, a couple of the organizing committee, a couple uh, well esteemed uh, choreographers and directors from from Korea themselves. So when we sat and we kind of discussed what is this parameter, they gave us the whole judging criteria so we had to judge for example on choreography on formations on intention and on tradition so it was very difficult but we, we you know again I was like the little baby I was the one that's kind of like how do you do this and how do you do that and and I was just lucky that they were generous enough to share that knowledge mm -hmm. most most if not everyone there um, I, has a wealth of folklore experience and a wealth of, of international exposure. Many of those are professional choreographers and esteemed directors. Uh, so to be able to be in that company was just overwhelming. But I was just so, I so embraced it and I so embraced the realities of myself as well. You know, like I said, uh, you know, being able to come from little Guam and <laughs> to be able to, to be sitting in such wonderful, wonderful artistry and to be able to to be uh, in the company, again, of such esteemed, uh, esteemed directors and choreographers. I was just totally blown away. Okay, but well, obviously a huge honor for you, but we, as your fellow Guamanians, are incredibly proud to have you represent us. So congratulations and thanks Suus for what well. Suus Maasi, and I definitely like to thank the people of Guam, my kids, the families out there, and everyone that's perpetuating and promoting our culture. Definitely dare to dream, and dream big. All right, Vince Regis with the Gafago. Our island was in good hands. Thank you very much. Susan Masi. All right, stay tuned because Fiesta Friday will continue more show right after this.